Hello beautiful soul. So I hope you all are doing well. I'm Anita Svetlana. Welcome to your reading. So this is going to be a monthly reading for February for Libra, Scorpio and Sagittarius. So as usual, please remember that this is a general collective reading. So please pick up messages that you resonate to. Don't forget to like, comment and consider subscribing as well. I mentioned the timestamps in the description. So all you need to do is go to the timestamp. There's a timestamp mentioned against each zodiac sign. If you click on the timestamp, that will take you directly to your reading. All right. Welcome, Librans. Let's look at your cards. Page of Air, Five of Earth, Eight of Fire. And the dreamer. Okay. You all have so much of anxiety, so, so, so many fears, uh, especially around your relationship. So, uh, thing is you wear your heart on your sleeve and you want to wear your heart on your sleeve and you know that's not being acknowledged and uh, there is this complex decision that you need to take but you need to do more research review it carefully before you take that decision you are avoiding it <coughs> you are basically avoiding or uh, taking that decision so you need to stop procrastinating okay also you need to do some chakra alignments you do have a lot of options available to you and you're just going in circles currently because you don't know what decision to take and uh, you will get to your uh, the truth you will get to your some challenging information which will be very difficult for you to hear and uh, there will be changes uh, that will happen to your plans but uh, you know you will get to your uh, the truth and you will know the truth of the situation uh, you feel that you're stuck okay you feel you're stuck you feel you're not moving uh, you feel that you're not happy remember you hold the key to your happiness you can't just stand there and keep watching outside you want to enjoy the view outside you have to open the door and walk out you can't stand there and complain okay you can't stand there and keep staring outside and say oh i would like that and not move you feel you're stuck you're not what you keep on doing is you keep going back to your past all the time you are living in your past you keep thinking about your past you keep thinking about your past events and you are so much into your past you have so much of discontentment currently in, in your life that you can't see the opportunities that are being presented to you you are you're just refusing to see the opportunities that are being presented to you. Also, you have been taking someone in your life for granted. So, you know, stop being distracted. Look at the opportunities that are there. Okay, you desire to have a more meaningful life. You, you know and you realize, you have realized long time back that it's time for you to move on. You know that it is time for you to move on. You know that you need to make, you know, major life changes. But you refuse to go. You refuse to move on. You love being there. Then you can't complain about it. Okay. So, you, you know that you need to move on. So, move on. And you do have a lot of people who are not too good for you you have toxic people around you you have dishonest people around you so uh, do some cord cutting okay uh, detox the, the your, your surrounding and the people walk away from people who don't serve you any purpose anymore walk away from situation that doesn't serve you purpose anymore you know you have been chasing something which is not the best choice for your happiness and you know the efforts that you have that you have been putting in to chase that dream it's not worth it at all okay 
So let go of people that don't serve you any purpose. Let go of things that don't serve you any for and uh, serve you any purpose. You know, uh, focus on your career. You know, you have been you have fears around money. It's because you are so focused on your relationship that you are not focusing on your career. So you have fears around money. It is okay to accept help from people. Okay, so focus on your career, be strong, and you know what you're doing is right. So be compassionate to yourself, be assertive, especially when you know what you're doing is right. So stand tall. Okay, remember everything will go your way. Okay, you 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 feel that uh, you know things have been not right, things have been unfair, but. Uh, you do what you know is right stand up for what you what you believe in okay and stand up for your beliefs don't back down stand up for what you believe is right okay and you know whatever emotional situation that you're going through in your relationship especially you know stay grounded stay grounded through that entire experience also since you have such a you have a constraint about your finances you have fears around money because you have not been focusing on your career and uh, you know things are out of control currently for you so focus on your career or uh, you know invest in a fair trade uh, live a simple life purchase only what you need okay don't overspend you can you know uh, do a side hustle uh, where you you keep working on another job to you know work part time or work take up something else so that you can pay your bills and uh, remember to take a proper energy exchange and make yourself a priority so you have to invest in yourself and your future so make yourself a priority okay the minute you let go of people the minute you detoxify you know you will make a lot of uh, space for the new to enter and like i said you are not seeing the magical opportunities that are around you might be you'll get the clarity you've been overthinking so much that you you don't have the clarity right now okay but things will change you will get the clarity that you're looking for and that is when you know things will change and there are a lot of changes that will happen at a very fast pace your delays will be over many things will happen at 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 one time all you need to do is take that leap of faith follow your dreams you do have unexpected opportunities that will be showing up for you just take that leap of faith be bold you know unleash your adventurous side take that risk be daring and and you know work on your creativity so and also you need to be a team player work with people you know collaborate with people okay remember you will be successful just stay dedicated and self discipline and you will see the success that it, that that you deserve and things will move forward you will get out of the stagnant energy that you are stuck in uh some of you might even celebrate your accomplishment uh work with the spirit team work with the spirit team work if you are aware about your spirit animal work with your spirit animal and uh, you know uh, you have ignored your family and friends for a very long time so you need to spend time with your friends and family focus on your friends and family uh, treasure them show them how important they are love them give them the love uh, that they deserve and and tell them that you know how important they are be kind to them don't forget to be kind to yourself as well and uh, remember kindness brings a lot of happiness to you and uh, everything around you also you need to take a break and if you need to take a break you need to rest you need to re rejuvenate you need to uh, spend time near a water body okay spend time near a water body such as a lake or a river or an ocean you know because you need to recharge yourself okay let's look at your other cards 
<sighs> anxiety. I, I don't have anything to say because that's what I begin with. Because you have too much of anxiety because you've been thinking too much. and uh, The thinking man. So this is what I was talking about. You are thinking so much and he's holding up clear cards because you, you are... Uh, you would like clarity in your life and you will get that clarity in your life. Spend some time in meditation. Be with yourself. Review, you know, your past, your, you know, since you're going so much into your past event, review your life, your past, present, future and get the clarity that you, you, you want. Journey. So, uh, you might either take an actual physical trip or you might take a journey within yourself. And this is what I said, you need a break so you, you, you can go on a trip. Yeah, I did say you need to go on a trip to an ocean or a water body, but I still say that. You need to spend some time near a water body to do a lot of your release work. Door to value. So, so you do have money coming into your life, but you need to detox. You need a, need a lot of work to be done before, before you open this door because currently you are closed and stuck. You need to let go of all the everything that you're holding on to and make space for this this uh, abundance to come into your life. Finding you will find what you're looking for and you'll find the truth as well. Well being, so rest, look after yourself, rest well. Transformation. Yes, you are because of all that what you're going through, you are going through a transformation and you will transform. Forgiveness, more than anybody else, please forgive yourself. Please forgive yourself for putting yourself through whatever you are going through. And you have been through a lot uh, uh, recently. Let's look at your other cards. Ta -ta. Demonstrate love. So, so find out what is important to those you love and act on it and, and show that love. You know? Uh, action speaks louder than words. So show that love. So uh, express love through gifts. So a small token of love can, can convey great a, uh, appreciation. And you don't need to buy gifts, uh, big gifts. You can do small things, buy flowers, buy small tokens, or do something nice for someone. Okay. I love you. These are powerful words. So when was the time that you said that you love someone or you express those those love <coughs> sorry when you express that love to someone so express okay you really need to show your love spend quality time together listen and talk to each other you need to spend time with each other so you need to show that love express that love demonstrate that love uh, you know Shower that person whom you love, uh, the, the, your partner, with a lot of love, attention and affection. Okay? Show them how much you love them. Tell them how much you love them. Okay, let's look at your angel of abundance. Savings. So, has you consistently saved for your future? Your future is saved. You do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds. This is a part of your self-care and part to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose. Deservingness, very important. You are a beloved child of God like everyone else and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose. Even if you can't yet Recognize your lovable qualities. Trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are. And when you want a lot of things, first thing that you need to you know, tell yourself is that you deserve those things. Partnership. Allow helpful, supportive partnership into your personal life and career. Both parties benefit as a result. You are receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needed skills and resources power of prayer give the situation to god for uplifting and healing and be open to miracles heaven's unlimited resources love and answers are awaiting your prayers 
Be sure to act upon the divine guidance God gives to you in response to your prayers. Focus on your priorities. Where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and attention they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priority will help you feel better and more confident. Okay. Prosperity. The universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. You, you really need to open yourself to receive the prosperity and the abundance that you're going to receive. And you need to believe that you deserve that prosperity and abundance. You, you deserve all the good things in life. Quiet time. Take some quiet time alone to meditate, to rest, meditate and contemplate. And that is what I said. Spend some time in meditation. You'll get a lot of clarity that you, you need. Oh, another transformation. And you are really going through a transformation. So I can, I can get this. Uh, you're experiencing uh, enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. Oh my God, another leap of faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. So take that leap of faith. Don't worry. Don't be afraid. Do what, listen to your heart and take that leap of faith. Okay, let's <coughs> look at your February blessings. So you have a blessing from your ancestor. You have a blessing on a resolution. I hope you resolve all your emotional conflict and your relationship uh, issues. Okay. And a blessing to ease loneliness and bring companionship. Okay. So that's all I have for you, uh, my dear Librans. I hope you resonated to the reading and the messages. And I will see you next time for your next reading. Thank you. Welcome, Scorpions. Let's look at your cards. Three of Air. Four of Water. Oh. The Emperor. Knight of Fire. So, you've been hurt very deeply, okay? Very, very deeply. It's as if, you know, somebody has broken your heart or stabbed your heart and, uh, you know, stabbed you in the heart time. And um, you have a lot of sadness within you and you need to take time to heal. You need to take time to forgive yourself. You need to take time to heal, uh, forgive others. Okay. You need to spend <coughs> spend some time, you know, alone. Okay. Focusing on yourself. You need to rest. You need to take that break to heal. Okay. And... Uh, you can, you know, it's time for you to set aside, you know, all your worries. Spend some time in meditation. What you need is more sleep and a vacation. You really need a vacation. Take a good break. Take a vacation where you would love to go for a vacation. And, uh, you know, knowing uh, that most of you might be a water body, uh, you know, a... Uh, would love water body so spend some time near an ocean or a lake or a sea and uh, work with yourself work with your emotions release your emotions you are unable to move because of the great sadness that you hold inside yourself you are unable to make a decision because of that you are in the stagnant and uh, stagnant stalemate energy because of that and you're pretending that you're okay. Oh, I'm fine. I'm happy, you know. But there's this great pain in your heart that you're carrying. 
okay you are pretending that there is no problem because you don't want to acknowledge it you don't want to acknowledge your pain that you're carrying okay and you keep going back and 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 you know you keep thinking about your past events you're so unhappy and discontent you know with your current uh, situation and you know some of you are even bored with the current situation and and you're like oh my god when will this get over you are you're failing to see uh, you know the opportunities that are being presented to you so you will miss opportunities because of that so you need to keep your eyes open to all the possibilities that are going to show up in your life let go of your past release your past okay you do desire to have a more meaningful life you do you realize that it's time for you to move on you know that you need to make a choice which is going to uh, make a huge change in your life okay you might be going through a very emotional experience so stay grounded stay positive don't give up hope have faith be optimistic and uh, you know being optimistic and positive and that faith is going to open doorways to positive experiences and positive opportunities okay so don't let negative energy or a temporary setback interfere with the path that you are on so keep the faith and keep going and uh, believe in the power of prayers you know surrender your situation to god let let god help you heal be open to miracles you know to happen in your life remember god has this unlimited source unlimited love and he is waiting to answer your prayers so whenever he gives you the guidance act upon the divine guidance that you get remember god always answers your prayers he always responds to our prayers so so believe in that power of prayer heal your heart you know you're carrying too much of sadness and pain in your heart and open yourself to love open your heart to love work with archangel uh, raphael to heal your heart chakra and open your heart chakra and open your heart to love because uh, that will help you deepen your current relationship okay or if in case you're single it will help you attract a, a relationship okay also trust your intuition your intuition is bang on and don't forget to love yourself okay do something for yourself the thing is <coughs> you have a lot of mental and emotional things happening okay mentally you you keep thinking about your finances and uh, you have this financial fear you need to let go of this financial fear because you have no control over your finance uh, on on that that is something uh, you know you have this fear of success also and failure also and that is no longer in your control so let go of your fears you know release all the self doubts that you have and just you know charge you are going to be successful also you you think about a lot of finances uh, because uh, you have this heavy burden of uh, uh, financial debts emotional debts in your life and uh, you know you need to face this because that will make you feel a little lighter plan to clear your you know present obligations you know make a plan how will you clear your present obligation okay and uh, remember you're on a right path all you need to do is stay organized have some structure and discipline you do have the leadership quality to 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 work and 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 you know uh, be successful even when you speak up speak with confidence okay you need to have that balance of you know mental uh, mental well-being and emotional well well-being so look after yourself look after your well being okay and uh, remember that uh, <coughs> you are a channel for healing okay you have divine healing powers so you are a channel so so use that channel well also uh, the work that you do in case you are into a creative field 
and the creative work that you do. Remember to protect your work. Okay, protect the work that you do and take all the necessary actions that you need to take. Trust your intuition. Also, work with Archangel Michael. So, so, so your Archangel Michael is sitting with a sword. You do have people around you who are not good for you. You need to detox your, your relationship because uh, they are creating blockages in your abundance. So you need to detox your friendship. You need to detox the people around you. Be mindful about whom you spend your time with. Okay, Be mindful about your association or your relationship with that person. Be with people who, are, who, who will support you, inspire you, who are proud of you, who will, uh, who will, who are, who will be happy with the work that you are doing. Okay, people might pretend to be happy, but not everyone is happy. So be mindful about whom you're spending time with and work with Archangel Michael to cut cords with those people and detox your friendship and uh, the people around you. Okay. Oh my God. Sorry. So uh, suddenly there will be, uh, you know, a lot of work. Uh, a situation that will come up which will require your which will require your uh, immediate attention so think things through carefully remember uh, it's time for you to go after your dreams it is time to let your creativity out let your creativity take that flight okay you are you do have a lot of creativity do something that's going to expand your horizon be optimistic be enthusiastic be creative be energetic okay and you know you might be alone most of you might be alone and feeling because you know there's a lot of loneliness energy here so you also you you have a lot of sadness because of being alone and being uh, you feel lonely and alone so enjoy your time with yourself enjoy the little luxuries in in, in life spend you know that quiet time alone with yourself okay you are going to your great news some you are going, so there's a great news that is on its way to you and uh, you are going to be successful in whatever you are working on your wishes will come true your dreams are going to get fulfilled you are going to have a magical time of your life uh, so all i'm saying is don't focus on your loneliness so much and alone time alone you know uh, cherish that time alone and you have a bright future. Stop worrying. Everything is fine. You are just getting started. So have patience with yourself and the process. And don't give up. Okay? <coughs> Let's look at your other cards. Oh my God. Mm. like I can feel the pain of that broken heart so work to heal your broken heart you're not alone you're definitely not alone okay fourth chakra Archangel Raphael that's your heart chakra work with Archangel Raphael to heal your heart okay so woman holding a coin so you are thinking so much about your financial fears. You are going to have a lot of money coming into your life. You are going to be successful. Healers of ages. So work with Christ consciousness. Work with Christ light to heal your heart, to heal yourself. Okay. Also to forgive yourself and, and forgive people who are involved in this situation. So work with Christ consciousness and Christ light. Heal your heart chakra. Be open to receiving all the prosperity that. So you are, you do have prosperity coming into your life. So be open to receiving that prosperity. Okay. Focus on your career. So your career is going to shine. You're going to do well in your career. Forgiveness. And I did say that you need to forgive yourself. You feel that you're alone, standing here alone, and there's nobody around you. Remember, God is always with you. Your angels are always with you. 
your spirit guides and your spirit animal is always with you. So you are never, never, never alone. And your guardian angel is always with you. Forgive yourself, okay? Forgive your, the, the situation. Forgive whatever you're going through. And, you know, you will find the peace that you're looking for. Yeah, peace. So you will find the peace that you're looking for. Work with the spirit team. Work with the Holy Spirit. Okay, to find the peace that, that you're looking for. Uh, let's look at your... I love you. These are powerful words. So when was the last time that you told your partner that you love him or her so express true words all you need to say i love you that that itself makes a huge impact romance lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection okay so so give attention to that someone don't ignore that someone forgiveness 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 so you need to forgive your past. So nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. Okay. So forgive yourself. Forgive your past disappointment. Forgive whatever has happened. You know, if if you have been hurt, uh, you know, you need to really let go of that hurt and forgive. Be willing to express love. So... Uh, express love to receive love so show that love okay remember there is going to be this union of hearts so <coughs> express that love to that person give attention to that person express your love through actions because action speaks louder than words and have patience remember love is patient and kind always so have some patience let's look at your Angel of Abundance. Pay yourself first. So make yourself most important, uh, your most important financial obligation, obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you're paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you will have the saving to invest in your present and your future. Organize for success. And I did say that you need to get organized and get a structure. So don't let the word organize intimidate you as it is a simple way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. Organizing your thoughts, your reports, your, your living and workspace and your finances uh, will help you know and plan your next action step. Severe vows of poverty. So in your last time, you must have taken some vows of poverty. So you need to... Uh, you know break those do those uh, oaths vows clearance with your vows of poverty so dear one there's no need to suffer or sacrifice hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime as you do so all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all direction of time Visualize abundance in all form. So God gave you great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes a reality. Hold a steady vision which is beautiful, healthful, positive and filled with blessings. And that is what you will experience. Gratitude list. Counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you to create Helps you to be centered in your heart instead of fixated on worries in your mind. What and who are you grateful for right now? Keep focusing upon gratitude and you will discover the amazing generosity of this universe. Okay. So you must have been a high priestess sometimes. A high priestess, you have a divine knowledge that can help others to your spiritual healing. Quiet time. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate and contemplate. And, and I told you this month, you really need to set some time apart, you know, aside to rest, to meditate. Okay. Rest because you, you really need to rest and heal yourself. 
okay like i said take a vacation take a break and 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 you know ensure that you take regular breaks boundaries <laughs> love yourself enough to say no to others demands on your time and energy and this is very important to you because you do have people in your life you know i spoke about detox the people in your life detox your friendship so say no to people say no don't don't be mindful about how and whom you share your time and energy with be strong you are stronger than you think and your strength ensures assures a happy outcome okay let's look at your february blessings so you have a blessing on your creativity like i said let your creativity flow let those juices flow so you have a blessing on your creativity you have a blessing for good man and father so you do have a partner or a father in your life who is a blessing for you okay who's very supportive of you who loves you unconditionally and a blessing on your wisdom which is going to get you a lot of clarity so okay so that's all i have for you my dear scorpions i hope you resonated to the reading and the messages and i will see you next time for your next reading thank you welcome sagittarius let's look at your cards eight of water queen of air you've been thinking too much seven of earth and you've been doing too much and you know working too much sorry i just started off the magician so you are at the end of a cycle you know to towards the end of there's an ending that is happening in your life and you know it happens you know my mother always says hatti geli she putrela that type you know like when you're towards the end you become impatient oh my god i know that i'm towards the end when it will end so you're at the end of a cycle and uh, you really desire to move on okay you have this very strong desire to move on and you want to do something more meaningful in life and you've been overthinking over analyzing at times you have anxiety you are looking to find clarity about your situation but the first thing that you should be doing is you should be you should lighten your load you know what you're doing is all work and no play and you have been weighed down by too many responsibilities too many i will say and uh, you've been working long hours and uh, <coughs> you're trying to please everybody and uh, you know you can't please everyone oh i will do this because it will please this person i cannot say no because i need to please this person think about yourself if you desire to have a more meaningful life when you know that you're at the end of the cycle It's time for you to move on so move on don't get stuck in the doorway you know there's going to be a major life change for you that is going to happen a very big life change also you know uh, in your relationship you will have a new person who will come into your life or people who are already in a relationship will will start a new phase in your relationship okay uh, some of you might even know or uh, you know look at a new home you need to be positive and optimistic and that positivity and optimism is going to open a lot of doorways for you don't be surrounded by negative energy don't don't allow negative energy to create a setback or interfere with the path that you're on currently what is happening is uh, you're not seeing things clearly you're 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 trying to run on thin ice and you need to be cautious when you're on thin ice so you're not seeing things clearly you know there's a better choice there's a better option and you are trying to run away from the truth 
ask yourself what is it that you don't want to confront what is the truth that you don't want to confront you do have a powerful intuition so trust your intuition you need to let go of your worries and fears and you really need to understand the truth of your situation and that is how you will make an ob- you'll take an objective decision you need to let go of everything that no longer serves you any purpose declutter uh, you know let go of people that don't serve you any purpose let go of situation that doesn't serve you any purpose and try to find humor in everything have fun laugh enjoy don't take life so seriously okay and you have done wise investments okay so there is a temporary pause in 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 action and and remember that you have done wise investments and you know when you plant a seed it doesn't give fruit the next day so you have done and your it your investments will reap great rewards so your worry is unnecessary you worry too much about your finances and your investments you need to learn how to manage your money or your resources wisely you need to have a balance about how you save and spend your money currently you are at the extreme of it it's like kabhi diya to chappad faad ke sometimes when you do you 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 behave like a like a miser so you need to have a balance about uh, you know uh, about your money okay and uh, remember that you are going to uh, in terms of your business or your career you need to take a good decision about your 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 career and your business and uh, like i said uh, like i was talking about your investments and your savings keep saving continue saving okay continue doing those investment continue saving for your future okay because you you will be doing your future self a big favor if you continue saving money for yourself also you have a lot of emotional debts and uh, you have this heavy burdens of emotional and financial debts okay and you need to remove those emotional and financial debts from your life you will feel lighter okay make plans how to clear your pre- present obligation make plans even how to clear your your emotional baggage that you're carry okay you need to clear that and remember you are on a path like this magician card is you know you are ready you are ready to create that magic your career path is going to lead you to higher directions there are going to be a lot of positive positive changes that will come in your career and you have people around you who are going to support your dream who are going to prioritize your dream who will support you and your passion and your life purpose you know you need to trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new so let go like i said you are at the end of your cycle let go remember you are, you are being supported each and every step of your way just stay organized uh, just get some structure and some discipline to yourself you have great leadership qualities cut cords with things that don't serve you any purpose call upon archangel michael uh, you will hear great news about your career or a promotion that uh, that some of you might get you need that little push okay whenever you need that push no come and listen to my reading and that's the push okay you need that push you are going to be successful you have that leadership skills in you okay you you have it in you to make it and you are going to have uh, a financial windfall because of this you know it will open a door to money if you do this so so go ahead everything will go perfectly well you know uh it's time for you to learn a new skill and it's okay you can learn that you're not too old <coughs> you have the magician okay like i said you're ready you're you you have the resources 
and the ability to manifest them. Life is going to be magical. You have the magic in you to create the life that you desire. All you need to do is open that door to healing and happiness and step out, you know, on that step in that, sorry, step in that door. That door is open waiting for you to step in. Also work on yourself so that you change your vibration. So that you, you shift your vibration from lower vibration to a higher vibration. So you can do that by spending time in the nature. Go out for a walk. Meditate. Uh, you know, sit under the stars. Take a break. Uh, spend time near the waters. So you can do so many things that can help you. You know, change your vibration. Listen to music. Remember that you are stronger than you think you are. And your strength is going to give you a lot of success and you know you have this passion inside you all you need to do is be honest with yourself and you need to ask yourself what is it that your heart truly desires and chase that dream follow that dream the magician is in in you will help you create and manifest that dream into a reality and you are going to find that bliss and peace that you're looking for. Remember, there's no need to worry because everything will work out beautifully. Okay? Yeah. Anxiety. That's because you think, think, overthink. You're thinking too much. You're thinking, you know, you're thinking about other people. You're thinking too much about others, other people. What will others say? What will others think? What if I say no? What if I say yes? What if I do this? Think about yourself, okay? Spend some time thinking about yourself rather than wasting your time thinking about the whole world. This is what I said. You'll have a windfall of money. There's a door of money that will, uh, uh, you know, you do have... Uh, Abundance and prosperity and money coming into your life. Okay, so so there's this door that is waiting for you. So that will come. Let go of all your baggages that you're holding on to. Third chakra, Archangel Chamuel. So work with Archangel Chamuel to work on your solar plexus. Root, sacral, solar plexus. Correct. Sorry, I just remembered it. So work on your third chakra. Uh, work on your solar plexus. Wow, again, magician and the mirror. You're on a roll, man. You have that magic in you. Remember, you want somebody to, you know, uh, how do I say, to use a magic wand to change your life. Remember, the magic is within you. You hold the wand and you are the creator of that magic. So look within yourself for that magic, okay? So your luck is going to change. So good luck. Your luck is going to change. Uh, rest well. Don't do too much. Uh, let other people do the work. You have done enough. So don't try to please everybody. Look after yourself also. Animals. So in case you are aware about your spirit animal, work with your spirit animal for guidance. Talent. Focus on your talent and work on your talent. Okay. So you do have the right skills and the resources. So work on your talents and showcase your talents. So person with whom you are, that's a true love. Uh, this is uh, this love is once in a lifetime. So cherish the person with whom you are with. Okay, treasure the person whom you love, and you know love that person deeply. Also. Uh, this true love also has a has a, a past life connection. Forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. So forgive yourself. Very important to forgive yourself. Love is all around you. There is a love. There is love everywhere, all the time. Simply acknowledge the truth. So. You know, find that love all around you. Find that love every day, all the time, all around you. Be willing to express love. Express love to receive love. So you need to express that love with your partner. 
remember like i said you need to love each other deeply you need to uh, you know treasure the person whom you love also you need to figure out how committed you are to this relationship and uh, you need to spend time with each other spend time with each other listen and talk to each other show that love to each other express that love to each other okay do 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 small uh, things for each other you know action speaks louder than words let's look at your angel of abundance ask for your needs to be met okay so god and the angels can come to your aid only if you make a free will choice to be helped and it begins with asking it doesn't matter how you ask god for help but only that you do the same hold true with clearly asking other people to help you so like for example you don't need to do everything on your own ask for help and if you you know it takes a lot of courage to ask for help and if you don't want to ask for help okay pray ask for your angels to send you help ask god pray to god ask him to send you some some people to help you the right people to help you okay donation the thing and charitable work so give joyfully to the organization and people who spiritually support and inspire you and know that your generosity will be returned to you many folds in miraculous way the time supplies money and other uh, other resources you donate will ensure that your positive energy multiplies so pay it forward successful funding your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of god that <coughs> that gave you the idea do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into a reality crowdfunding partnership and other investments are available to you face your financial fear so this is what i was talking about you need to you worry about your finances so when you're honest with yourself about fear of success or failure they can no longer control you be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness and you will realize that you in fact have nothing to fear and that every successful person has struggled with and released these self doubts words of abundance so you have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerful positive words always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms and that is what you will attract for yourself and others Oh my god. Start delegating. I like I said you've been doing too much. Start delegating. It's time for you to stop working. Ask others including me to help you instead of trying to do everything by your by yourself. Oh my god and I did say that you you don't need to do everything on your own. like your this card said like you know ask for your needs to be met ask for help so you, and i said that earlier also somewhere that you you don't have to do everything alone you've been doing everything alone so ask for help you need to lighten your load so start delegating independent your independence is a foundation for your strength and success quiet time take some quiet time alone to rest meditate and contemplate and i think this is the second meditation message that i have for you easy does it so works everything happens with ease so there's no need to hurry or force things to happen everything is occurring in perfect timing so let's let things unfold on their own okay let's look at your blessings for february a blessing to shield and safeguard you so you will be protected and you are always protected okay sorry a blessing for your good work so you are doing great in your career also and a blessing on your journey so in case you'll be traveling you'll be taken care of and protected while you travel 
Okay, so that's all I have for you, my dear Sagittarius. I hope you resonated to the reading and the messages. And I will see you next time for your next reading. Thank you.